Stop it. Are we doing it? Are we live? Are we live? Are we live? Stop. You guys are supposed to not feel good from yesterday. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> okay, guys. Sorry. This is, um, uh, you know, sometimes I actually deliver a message instead of just sitting here playing with dogs. And this is going to hopefully be one of those times. Jack, Jack. Um, <laughs> oh, he starts out so strong. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say. Um, so I'm bringing it to you tonight. I want to let you guys in on a little something. Um, today was nail day around here. Um, and nail day for... Oh, stop it, Jack! Jack, Jack! Jack, Jack! Oh, your balls are gone. Why are you so energetic? All right. Kira, save me, Kira. I want to talk, I want to talk, Kira. Kira, I got to talk. Okay, so... There's a message, I swear to God. We'll have to figure out what, what, what time to fast forward to to actually get the message. Because um, I don't want to like have you guys miss out on all the fun. Major! <laughs> Sorry. Um, Kira, what are you doing? It hurts. All right. So listen, first off, folks, and I told, I said this at the live a little bit about, hi, Rocky, about, you know, how you, um, if you're going to do this, a lot of people ask me what I'm going to, hi, sweetheart. Uh, how they go about doing it, little tips and tricks. So I figure I'm gonna start giving you little tips and tricks here and there. We found out something today. First off, um, when you have so many, you can either do the, the nails yourself, but as you guys know, I don't like them associating any kind of trauma whatsoever with me. Sure, taking them to the vet, I'm there 100%. Uh, when they take their last breath, I'm the last thing they're gonna see. I understand that's my responsibility. But if they have a freak out nature or, hi, sweetheart, or you know, do not like um, the, you know, being scared because somebody's clipping their nails, I don't want them to hold that with me. That's been a thing that I've done since day one, and it's worked out pretty good so far. The staff, volunteers help out. Connie does it. But the main part is, is you can do it yourself here, and you have to know not Kira. Kira. And you have to know not to cut too short, right? Otherwise, you'll, you know, you'll go into the quick, and it'll bleed a lot, and they'll whine and cry, and you'll. Anyway, um, you know, or you can do what we do, and we found a great vet tech at one of our vets, who was willing to do it for a certain amount. Now, most people will charge five to ten dollars a dog to do them at a groomer's or whatever, sometimes more. Um, but if you do the math on this 90, 90 some dogs times $5 is like 500 bucks a month or 500 bucks at a time or $10 would be a thousand bucks. Well, no, I'm not going to pay you to do it that way. Sorry. We're going by time frame here. Your time allotted here, not each individual dog. Cause where else are you going to find 95 customers in one spot like that? So I worked with her and we'd pay her a couple hundred bucks to come out every time she chooses her own schedule and it's been working out miraculously. But we still have the, the concerns. <laughs> Waffles helping. We still have the concerns about them freaking out some from time to time. And you don't want this to be traumatic to, for them. And guys, believe me, we've tried everything. Uh, we've tried hanging them from the hangers with little outfits and all this stuff. Um, we've tried muzzles. We've tried Elizabethan collars. Um, all of that is just more, even, even more traumatic for the dog. But then we tried, and, and even, I know a lot of vets and rescues do this. Um, there for a short period of time, the really extreme ones, uh, we were we were instructed to give trazodone to, and my vet was supplying me with trazodone. Trazodone, trazodone is a narcotic, um, which just that, that doesn't sit right with me if you think about it. We did it as necessary a few times, and each time we did it, I'd ask the ladies that are doing it, Connie first and foremost, but the other, you know, the other volunteers or staff, hey guys, do, do we really need this? And and not only is it a you know is it an issue because you're, it's a drug, but some dogs, Tony Stark. Are a little obnoxious about it. Hey, 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 Bella, don't beat up Rocky. Stop beating up Rocky. Rocky, what was that? Sorry, Bella was beating up one of the bigger dogs again. So, um, you know, like I said, not only do you have this problem, but when you have people here that are, the goodness of their heart do stuff, but they don't actually like operate very, I don't want to say like thoroughly, um, Tony Stark will jump up and grab the, the treat out of their hand with the trazodone. It wasn't even his turn. And there's been times where he'll get three or four of them. And yeah, I'm throwing somebody on the bus under that, but it's like, oh, oh, Tony Stark, you got away with one. No, you're poisoning my dog. So we had to figure out a way to stop getting this stuff done. Shh, you stop it. And see, he's permanently dis disabled because of this now. He's like, Dad, you got any more of that trazodone stuff? I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. So, okay, so how do we do this? Here, so here we, here we go. Um, we put these, we put these guys, and we don't sell them or anything like that. Connie, I need you here now. Sorry. Hey. I'm sitting here showing. Um, okay, do Rocky for a minute. I'll just no, wait. No, he won't. No, he's going full Rocky. We, sorry, we got to break for full Rocky. Don't let me do it. Do your Rocky. Do it. Do it. Ow, Tony. 
Shh, you just let it happen. Rocky, go for Rocky. Okay, so we're gonna, so he's only doing it because you're getting him started, so stop getting him. Tony! Oh my God. There's a message here. People are, that work for me are gonna hate me because I'm so mad, I'm gonna be so, I'm throwing, throwing things out there. And they'll be like, he's a dick, he's throwing us on the bus. And it's not just pissed off at the dogs right now, Tony. And he wouldn't be like this if y'all didn't hype him on the Trazodone back in the day. Now he's all mentally crazy. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm sorry. This was supposed to be like a two second video. Anyway, so we stumbled across these, I forget how. I don't sell them. They're on our Amazon wish list. And I'm gonna tell you why I'm telling you. I'm not even gonna say, Progility, I believe is the name of them. It's a calming treat. All natural, it's awesome. Um, we even tried CBD in cases, but we don't want to, you know, to, to do the CBD, it's very expensive. Um, and you also run the risk because they're also small. If they're not having a seizure or something, you can get a few of them that where they give them upset stomach. And now you got CBD throw up everywhere. So that, that's something you have to worry about. You can't, it's not just a drop or two for an anxiety situation like that. It's a little bit more. So anyway, um, you know, the, the, the volunteers and staff will start giving them the, these calming treats, sometimes with trazodone <laughs> in them. Um, Cause they're almost like pill pockets. Anyway, Tony Stark would come along, same thing with calming treat. And uh, you know, eat three or four of them. Once again, human error. But uh, anyway, what we found out side effect about these is if they have too much of these, it's worse than the CBD throw up. You've got calming treat poop. And for the next two or three days, the poop, I mean, I don't know if you've noticed around here cause we don't show too much poop, but our poop is very consistent. Um, unless something, that's how it's easy to tell if something's wrong with a dog, we spot it like that. Because the food that we give them, everything's so consistent that it, it, it works beautifully here. So, um, I don't want to say how our poop works beautifully. <laughs> I know, I'm, that's I'm really weird. butchering this tonight, guys. I'm so sorry. It's been a long, long week. Long year. It's been a long year so far. <laughs> Is it over yet? Um, so anyway, Bella, stop, stop growling. Put your knife away. Okay, so anyway. Um, so you don't want to give too much of this stuff, but it does freaking work and it works well. Um, we have dogs. Kira was one of them. Mama Pox one. Cooper, you're one. Uh, who else? There's a bunch of other. Rocky was one for a while. I think you guys remember looking like Hannibal Lecter one time because we had to put him in the in the face apparatus because he was going crazy one time for nails. Yes, you were. And uh, Pinches, Jasmine, we got so many that some are just very big drama queens. Some will bite your head off. And again, it's all because of the anxiety aspect of it. These have been getting better, but they're expensive. So we thank you guys who have gotten them for us. You know, but one of these containers is 40, 50 bucks. Now here's, I'm getting somewhere though. I'm getting somewhere. This is where the educational part of this comes in. You've sat around this song, you might as well get something from it. If you go on our Amazon wish list, shameless plug, um, <laughs> and look for these and get them for yourselves, they work wonders. And this is how little you absolutely need. Today was the best nail day we ever had. Connie came up with the incredible idea of taking about 10 of these guys. I don't mind showing you, we'll get them out here. They stink. Ooh. They look like, um, yeah, those nasty little turds. They, they look like, like Rolos, actually, is what they look like. Um, so, and they smell pretty bad, but um, she took 10 of them, only 10, and I don't know, there's like 90 in here, so 90 of them in here. She took only 10. She ground them up in the blender, in our bullet, and sprinkled it throughout all of the dry dog's food. And a little bit more for the ones with the special needs food. But basically, just those 10 through all the dry dog's food was enough, evenly dispersed, that all of these guys were on a level of calm they've never been at before. Um, and that's because in the past, you know, doing it one by one manually, manually is not only expensive, but they weren't getting all the dogs. One dog was getting four of them, and he's like, <laughs> and the other dogs are just like, hey, I didn't get one. But anyway, um, when you have your nail vet tech who's your nail trimmer go, wow, they've never been this good before, you know you're on to something. So I just want to tell you guys, like, like if, here's a little pearl of wisdom. I would totally stand by these. Again, I don't endorse the company. I don't get paid for this. I'm just, I'm just here to tell you guys what works in the system we use it works. Find a calming treat that's not a drug. I would, I would specifically recommend this before you give a dog you know, if you're not gonna do CBD, try it for an anxiety situation, try that instead of doing, um, of doing like uh, any kind of narcotic or anything. But it worked really well, so thank you guys for sitting here while I butchered this and they, I'm glad y'all are calm now. Sandrat, Sandrat was listening to me the whole time, weren't you, sweetheart? Yes, she was, all right, thank you guys so much.